As you may have inferred, I am watching Angel Beats, episode one. Oh, we're opening right to the show. No opening theme song. So a kid wakes up to a girl with a giant gun. Departure, episode one. Oh, so he died. He's sort of skeptical about this fact, though. Okay, so there's this battlefront called the, like, Hell I'm Dead Battlefront. And he's like, I, I have some questions. And she's like, J forget it, just fight. That's all you have to do. So they have to fight the angels. And he's like, I think you're crazy. I should go talk to that girl over there who's apparently the angel who is their enemy. The kid with blue hair comes running over and he's like, hey, what's up, guys? And our main character is kind of like, this is screwy, I'm out of here. He walks up to the angel and she's like, I'm not an angel, I'm the student council president. And by the way, everyone here is dead. Ah! So she stabs him with a sword that she got out of nowhere. And he wakes up in a hospital with no stab wound, which is nice. Though there is blood all over his shirt. <laughs> Enter a purple haired kid with a scythe. And he's all angry that he refused to enlist with the girl whose name is Euripe. <laughs> Okay, so then he gets stabbed a hundred times. So he's trying to find the teachers or any kind of adult who can help. And he ends up at the principal's office. <laughs> Whoa! And he gets launched out the window. So he wakes up in a room where there are a bunch of kids trying to discuss like what they should name their club. Because they don't like the like hell I'm dead battlefront. There's a lot of kids here. It's gonna be hard to learn all their names. So if they get a race, then they might be reincarnated as like a water flea or whatever. So it's dangerous. Okay, they haven't said anyone's names yet. Only Euripe, the, the boss. So they don't know for sure that they'd come back as like a barnacle if they got reincarnated, but just to be safe, they're gonna avoid it. So as long as they oppose the angel, they'll continue living. They want to get rid of the angel and then take over that world that they live in. In order to enter the anti-angel headquarters, they need a secret password so they won't get knocked out the window. So he agrees to join their group. Oh, her name is Yuri, not Yuripe. Okay, and Hinata is blue-haired kid. Matsushita is the big kid. Oyama is kind of like voiced by a girl. TK is the hippie. The smart kid is Takamatsu, but he's actually stupid. Fujimaki has the sword, and Saki got... Saki has the scythe. Ah, I missed it! I have to go back! Okay. Takamatsu is the smart guy, but actually he's stupid. Fujimaki is the guy with the sword. Noda is the guy with the scythe. And Shina-san is the girl standing in the corner. Iwasawa is the other girl. Do they expect me to remember all of these people? So the main character kid can't really remember his name, so he's like, I think it's Otonashi. So there's over 2,000 kids at the school. So if they attend class and join clubs, then they'll disappear. So that's why this club doesn't do any of that. So no one ages in this world. So they don't know much about the angel girl. So he drops the loaded question, does God exist? But they have no proof one way or the other. So how come adults don't go to this world? He hasn't exactly joined the battlefront, but he's still looking to gain his memories back. What's happening right now? Okay, so Operation Tornado. Basically, they're just gonna go steal from the students. So they're setting up this elaborate plan to steal lunch tickets? I don't understand the point of fighting. They have to fight in order not to disappear, I guess. Oh, so there's like a whole bunch more people here that I don't know. Ah, it's, there's too many people to keep track of. Okay, so now there's a concert. Meanwhile, outside, the angel appears, and he's like all nervous about shooting her, but he's like, if I don't shoot her, then I'll end up being killed again. So he shoots her in the stomach, and she whips out her knife again. So he decides to just run away. And then a bunch of the other guys appear, but I don't know their names. Whoa, like all of them appear. They open fire, but she's got like this defensive system. They're shooting from like every angle. 
So they turn on all these fans inside the building, and all of the lunch tickets blow out the window and land outside. And they're like, okay, so now we're done, gotta go by. So I guess they all go and eat in the cafeteria. And I guess the angel doesn't come after them, even though they're, like, crazy. He's all confused because he can't remember anything, so he doesn't really know what his morals are. Okay, that's the end of episode one. This show makes virtually no sense to me. So I can't say I understood much of what was happening. And it's kind of frustrating that there are so many characters. I hope they'll like whittle it down and you know single out the most important ones. But I'm inclined to believe that I'll, I'll watch the show again. That's all for that. See you next time.